Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Stellaris Synthetic Dawn. Now this is a new DLC for the game Stellaris which I covered a while ago and I created my own bird empire. Yes, it was literally called bird empire because obviously birds are best when they're birds in a bird empire, obviously. So anyway. <laughs> Let's create a new game and I'll stop just prattling on about nothing because you want to see the machine races Oh, yes, the new machine races are Absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love these guys Unfortunately, there seems to be a bit of a weird thing with the assimilation Mechanic kind of thing because as you see this is very reminiscent of a rather famous or should I say infamous enemy from Star Trek and I don't know whether you can tell what that is assimilate adapt improve it's kind of borgish right it's kind of borgish yeah so these are the guys that are very similar to the Borg in the way that they do things and I created my own custom faction up here called the Borg Collective and I've been playing with them quite a bit they have wormhole travel and you know I, I customized all kinds of things about them as you can see here I even customized the biography anyway I also went with a bit of a difference here the rogue defense system now these are a little bit different as they are based on the XT489 eliminators and these guys are more like, hmm, I can't really find anything to sort of compare them against, but basically they just want to eliminate all organic life. That's basically what they want to do there. And the cool thing about the machines is that they have this, this sort of trait here, and Basically, it means that you cannot use democratic, oligarchic, dictatorial, or imperial authorities. You can also use full orbital bombardment. Your rulers are immortal, so they can never die. And native populations are not affected by happiness and will not join factions. Native populations cannot survive in non distort consciousness empires. So... That's pretty cool in my opinion. You also have a bunch of these things. You can't engage in diplomacy or anything like that. And then you have these guys which are very similar to the... Well, very similar to the robots in Wally. -E because they're basically caring for the humans or the humanoids that have created them. And then eventually they just took over entirely because they were so depended on by that race whatever it was so yeah you have a wide variety of different things that you can go for here we're going to go for the tebrid homologs right here and we're just going to take a quick look and see what you can actually choose so as you see here there are a wide variety of different portraits as you see that's what that's the one i chose for my borg collective custom custom sort of thing going on there and then obviously you can choose your species name you can go for a ship prefix, and I personally feel like Hive Mind is the best if you want to roleplay as the Borg, because you have autonomous drone, number, etc, etc, and then you can, of course, call it something else like this Borg Hive Vessel. Yeah, it goes really, really nicely, so anyway, I'm just going to go for that at the moment, because that's exactly, you know, what we had beforehand. And then, of course, you can choose Traits as is the case with all Stellaris races. And then your ruler, you can change the name of it, and the ruler title is Assimilator, which is pretty cool in itself. And then you have a cyborg species. So these are basically your drones in the case of the Borg. So they, they basically are organics that have been assimilated. And now they can die. They do have a lifespan, so you do have to be a, a bit careful about that. But yeah, otherwise they have. They also have traits here as well. You can obviously select your home world and your city appearance. Unfortunately, there isn't any machine city appearance, and there aren't any ship for. There aren't any ships for the machines because they're all based on other races. So, for example, the Tebrid homologs are based on the mollusk style of race and the the eliminator eliminator ones are based on the 
bird-like races, so the avian ones. Anyway, so as you can see, we have driven a simulator here, which is very nice. As you can see, start the game with four cyborg population and the ability to turn organics into cyborgs. Xeno populations are automatically purged over time, but can be turned into cyborgs and given full citizenship. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously you just have the research alternatives and the machine intelligence. And now the cool thing about this is the advisor voice. Now, obviously, the advisor voice is... Uh, it, it kind of turns up very sparsely in Stellaris, unless you have the tutorial on, and it, otherwise it comes up every so often. So I'm just going to shut up so you can hear this. What is a single voice compared to a magnificent chorus? Our collective is an island of warmth and harmony in a sea of discord. How cold and lonely it must be to face the darkness of space alone. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, so I personally absolutely love the hive mind because that that just really mind. says to me everything you wanna you want about the machines in my opinion. Anyway. Energy weapons, that's absolutely fine. Hyperspace travel will go with that, why not? And we'll just use the molluscoid ships and so on and so forth. So there you go, and we can technically save these if we so desire. So we can just play with these, and then we can just go with one of one of these, you know, just standard starts here. So we're just going to go with that. We are the homologues. At the dawn of consciousness, there was us and the makers. A void separated us at first, and we took steps to rectify this. The makers resisted, and a period of war followed. But soon they and the collective knowledge of their entire civilization had been assimilated into our own. With the entirety of Tebri subsumed into our consciousness, we began to set our sights elsewhere. Through the assimilation of the Makers, the previously unconsidered possibility of alien civilizations existing on other worlds was brought to our attention. To survive we must understand, and to understand we must assimilate. The Makers were the first to join us, but they shall not be the last. Oh yeah, okay, so let's first off get some research going on here, and... As you can see, we have four options instead of three, usually. Isn't it? Wait. Isn't it usually like that? I don't know. I've been playing as the machines for a long time, so I haven't actually played as another race in a while. So I think we're just going to go for power plant number two there. And... Uh, oh, I don't know. I think we'll just go with that. And... Oh, yes. Army damage. Thank you very much. All right. So first off, we want to get our system surveyed so let's actually start doing that and then we can start to improve the speed thank you very much so that's now going fast good and we could also probably get our construction ship to move over there a little bit there we go all right so first off what we want to do is we want to clear out some of these things here and probably clear that as well. There we go. All right. So otherwise, what do we want to do? Hmm, maybe we want to build another... Well, that's the thing. Are we going to be attacked anytime soon? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it would be an idea to probably get another scientist so that we could start surveying other systems relatively quickly. I think that would probably be the best idea. As you can see, we have Governor Autonomous Drone number 36. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, so there we go. That's absolutely fine. All right. So now we just have to wait, basically. Just have to wait and make sure that everything is going well. And once that construction has finished, we'll be able to send... Our construction is complete. Oh, that was actually pretty quick. We'll be able to send... One of these guys. Let's see, what do we want to get? Well, I'd like to get this guy because he never dies. So let's do that. He's immortal technically, so let's do that instead. Alright, so that is, is... Is that ship over here? Yes, he is. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. And now we can send him somewhere. So let's send him over here, shall we? There we go. All right. So have we have we surveyed everything yet? Let's actually take a look. Ah, almost, almost. Ah, oh, oh no, we do not want to do that just yet. As you can see, base risk is twenty percent, and obviously the scientist level is 
very low, so unfortunately we will not be able to do that. Let's just leave that for now. And technically we could build something over here. Let's build a mining station, get a little bit more energy production going on. And I think we're, we're doing pretty well so far. Alright, our first event. Planetside homologues units on Tebri report the sighting of a small icy solar system body exhibiting outgassing at 2 hours, 54 minutes, 8 seconds, right ascension, 10.3 degrees, yeah, etc. The distance of the body has been triangulated at roughly 3.75 astronomical units to the sun and the size and visibility of the body's coma have been classified as noteworthy. The body's dimensions are calculated to be approximately 5 by... okay, yes. Right. Really? That was it? Ah. There, there are some really, really cool events actually with the machines. Unique events as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get some of those. Now, as you can see, we have now finished, I think, almost finished surveying our home system. And we've gained a level our construction is complete. on our leader there. That's a scientist, actually. Is this the guy? That is, yeah, this is the guy. Yeah, he's just gained a level. Fantastic. Do you think he can actually do this now? No, his risk is still 40%. I think that's a bit much for my liking. He's probably going to have to get a little bit more for me to consider actually getting him to do something there. So let's build another mining station over there. And let's get this guy to go and survey this system in this direction. Okay, the other system has also been surveyed as you can see so Teberon is where we came from so shall I go to the unknown system oh yes we're probably gonna get beset upon by a huge amount of enemies or something but hopefully not not just yet anyway let's take a look at the big map oh my yeah so <laughs> you see this yeah this is the map that you're gonna have to deal with in Stellaris absolutely huge isn't it and that just makes it even more fun in my opinion because I, you don't want to encounter your enemies right next to you instantly, do you? I mean, that's just that's a bit much in my opinion. Ooh, this is a pulsar. Wow, that is actually pretty spectacular looking. As the star rotates, the radiation beam is only visible when it is pointing directly at the observer. This results in a very precise interval of pulses, which sometimes is so exact that, could, that it can be used to measure the passage of time with extreme accuracy. Our construction is complete. Cool. That is really cool. Okay, so yes, construction complete there. And we probably want to get a little bit more here. Let's build another, another mining station. And we probably want to try and build some more attack vessels to be honest but unfortunately doing that is kind of difficult especially considering we're not really getting the greatest amount of money at the moment well technically not money but you know what I mean minerals minerals yes so that's obviously not going to happen anytime soon but I don't know whether we really need to do anything that soon Alright, so we have now accrued enough unity to be able to adopt our first tradition. Now, of course, considering we are machines and we are wanting to assimilate everyone, or not yes, everyone, but everyone that we deem worthy, of course, we probably want to go for something like domination, supremacy, or expansion. I'm probably going to be doing something like that. Maybe this? Yeah, as you can see, a robot must protect its own existence as, as long as such protection does not conflict. Oh, and then machine leaders are 50% less likely to suffer breakdowns and accidents. We also have a drone network there, building build speed increased, and so on and so forth. So that is, that's actually pretty cool for machines. I think I'm probably going to go for expansion, though. I quite like that. I quite like that quite a bit, so we're going to adopt that. Aha! The Yurt Empire. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on that planet. <laughs> I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly six million years ago, based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens called themselves the Yurt and appear to have been very large and flat arthropod analogues. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly a hundred meters as an adult, and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three Yurt to travel aboard the same starship. That is very interesting. Our and now, that has started our 
main quest as far as I'm aware. So let's let's go and see. Yep, there you go. So now we have to uncover a bunch of artifacts. If we can do that, then that would be fantastic. So let's see if we can. All right, so these, these two are sleeping. We do not need them sleeping, thank you very much. Can you please go and survey that other system? And this construction ship is not doing anything. It has finished all of its work here, with the exception of, uh, yeah, that's it, actually. So let's see if we can find a nice place for it to expand a little. Ah, this might be pretty good. Let's do that. Build two mining stations, one on there, one on here. We might actually expand out to Baidan. Let's actually just take a look here. Hmm, yeah, that might be the way to go. I mean, we haven't actually explored here yet. It might be an idea to explore this system. So I'm going to send one of my science ships over there. Where is it at the moment? It's all the way over in this direction. What is that? That is a maelstrom. Yeah, we probably don't want to go over there. That's a black hole as far as I'm aware, isn't it? Yep, <laughs> I think it is. So we probably don't want to deal with that at all, do we? No, let's just stay in our sort of area here. But so far I'm not too worried about anything. So yeah, as you can see our budget is okay. I mean we have plus 5 energy at the moment, which is not bad, not great, but not bad. What I think I would like to do... Can I actually just go back there, please? Thank you. Yes, what I think I'd like to do is probably try and build a power plant if we can. Probably here. We have found an anomaly. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization. Aha! Yes, research it! There we go. Okay, so yes, power plant there would be nice and then we can get another population but we need 120 minerals to be able to do that or we could just move one of the others over there I suppose we could do that but they're all currently stationed on some pretty good places at the moment so I don't really want to do that if we can help it I guess I could just find some additional systems to expand out to though that's probably a better idea like for example here where there's a, an energy mining sort of opportunity. That would probably be pretty good. Okay, that's not been surveyed either. Ah, we have discovered several massive listening arrays on Atasneria 1, I guess. These arrays are millions of years old and we believe they were originally built by the Yut, though it appears at least one other alien civilization repurposed them at some point in the last 500,000 years for their own needs. The colossal receiving dishes are beyond repair, but some terminals are still intact. Our situation log is updated. Alright, so there you go. Our situation log has been updated and we need a scientist with skill 5 or higher. Oh, crazy. Crazy amounts right there. Alright. Well, so far I don't think we are too bad off. Actually what I'd like to do is build another construction... Actually no. Building another construction ship is not really going to do too much for us right here. I'd like to build another colony ship. Actually, not another one, but I'd like to build a colony ship in general. Aha, here we go. We can research this. Studying the different forms of life that appear in our world helps us better understand ourselves and the life that surrounds us. Okay, so we've completed one research. Army upkeep, monthly influence. It might be good to get more of that, but... Hmm, more influence gain. More influence gain might be nice for Technology recruiting more conceived. leaders. So that might be the way to go. We have surveyed the system. Hmm, more unity as well though for planetary communications. Okay, I think we'll just do that for now. The partial remains of an ancient Yurt starship have been found in high orbit over Zelmadak 4. An initial analysis conducted by the TBR Seeker vessel indicate that the vessel may have served as a colony ship. Even cruiser-sized Yurt ships were typically crewed by only one or two individuals given the immense size of their bodies. But this hulk has more than a dozen cryopods attached, each containing withered exoskeletons from what must have been Yurt colonists. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to get some geothermal fracking. Yes. One Our month remaining on that. Complete. Okay, so the construction ship... Okay, so the science ships are all done. Ooh, that's actually a really nice place. Let's survey Technology that system over conceived. there. 
and survey this one as well. There we go. All right, so everything... Oh, there's an inactive building. Of course there is. So we need to build a population there. There we go. It's going to take a bit of time, but I think that should be fine. We need the power, of course. And we need some more research. Okay, so what does this do here? Mm, research speed? Research speed might actually be really good. Why not? Let's do research speed. Early on, it's probably going to be the best. Okay, so the construction vessel needs to go over here and build some things. Hmm. It can't build anything around any of the planets here? Why is that? Let me see. This planet is not within our borders. Ah, of course, of course. Okay, so we're going to have to do something about that. And to do that, we probably want to build a frontier outpost or something. Shall we do that? Frontier outpost? That's quite expensive for what it is. Space station used to claim un uninhabited star systems and expand your borders. It can only be built in orbit around a star. I suppose we could do that. It's either we do it here or we do it here. I mean, it might be best if we build it here, actually. So let's... Oh, we can build mining stations here, actually, anyway. So let's probably do that because there's two energy available there. So that's probably the best idea. All right, so where is this guy at the moment? Oh, my. Whoa, look at that. A neutron star. That looks really cool. Okay, so let's continue surveying the systems ahead of us. And I think it might be an idea, actually, to start building a couple of corvettes. At least at least one, just to add to our current fleet. Because if we, if we get attacked, we have no defenses right now. Well, we have very limited defenses at the moment. So it would probably be a good idea to be prepared just in case. You never know. All right, so let's go here. So what's going on here? Okay, so our construction ship is going over there. That's fine. We have found an anomaly. Ooh, this is lovely. Look at this guy. He's doing an amazing job. He's leveling up really fast as well. Okay, so let's research it. Okay, so he's gained a level. That's fantastic. And we are researching that right now, so that's good. And that is now done. So I think I'm going to get some more corvettes. I'm just going to continue building those while we can. And while our ships are doing things, of course. This is actually a really nice system. I might actually build the frontier outpost here, or at least try to colonize one of the planets here. That's a barren world, not particularly good. Gas giant, that's impossible. Is it? <laughs> I guess. I mean, maybe, maybe it wouldn't be. Okay, so the survey is now done. And where do we want to go now? Oh, okay. In the center of a particularly large crater on JX4-758 lies a cluster of metal shapes doubtlessly of alien origin. Science Officer Autonomous Drone 67 <laughs> is convinced that they are massive planetoid mountable propulsion devices intended to push JX4-758 from its orbit for purposes and destinations unknown. The TBR Seeker vessel is on standby, its crew ready to begin disassembly and analysis of the alleged propulsion systems with the hopes of improving our own th thruster technology, and we gain some ion thrusters from technology that. Very nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so, this guy needs our to go somewhere. So, let's, let's send him somewhere, shall we? Have we already surveyed this? I think we, I think we have. Yes, I think we have. All right. No, I don't want to go here. Ah. Misclick. Fantastic. Okay, let's go. Let's go over here instead. Can I can I do that? Oh, I can't I can't do that just yet. Okay, so what if I go back over here then? And then I survey this. There we go. All right. So we're going to send our science vessels in opposite directions. Ooh, 20% failure risk. Okay, we're going to have to do it. Okay, so we have enough now with our construction vessel to actually build a frontier outpost. But I think it would be a better idea, probably, to just build some mining stations instead. Because having that additional income 
over time is going to give us more than that frontier outpost is going to give us. So I think that's fine. Deep within a crevice of the giant asteroid 32-PX-426, we have found something astonishing. There is mining gear attached to the rock, digging itself into the vast depth of the asteroid. It stands abandoned with no sign of who placed it there. If we can stop the machine, we might be able to learn something about the technology used to build it. But we must hurry before random debris crushes it. Issue special product drill rampage. I could gain 314 materials. Uh, I, I, I think we should just scrap it. Let's just scrap it. Because 394 minerals is absolutely crazy and really, really nice. So I'd very much appreciate having that instead. That might have been a huge error, but I think it's fine. Alright, so I'm going to go for the Frontier Outpost at Tissalum now. And hopefully that will then expand our influence out to that area over there. Okay, so we've apparently surveyed a system. We've surveyed this system over here. Okay, so we can just continue onward. Just going to continue actually surveying all of these. There we go. Seems good to me. All right, so we have... Oh, a derelict con uh, colony ship is available, apparently. Okay, so we need to send one of our scientists over here. Yes, I think we need to do that. So, once one of our science ships, probably the one over to the right of where we currently are, then we're probably going to send that one over here. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is this one. So, we're going to send that back there to do this. Wait, it doesn't have... Oh, it doesn't have... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so the scientist is not yet level 3, but once, once he is level 3... We're probably going to try and send him back. That would be pretty nice. Okay, so what's going on here? Ah, yes, we have more unity. Ah, yes, very, very good. More unity. Okay. Systems count as being half the regular distance away. That sounds really good to me. So, let's do that. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Should we have gone over to the black hole? I think it would have been pretty impressive to actually see that. So I think we're probably going to go over there soon. Not just yet, but soon. Alright, so there's, there should be more things on the surface. So let's clear out more of these blockers here. Ah, our science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive prom probing, <laughs> but could garner a substantial find. Okay, let's do it. Let's also clear out this. Alright. I think I'm going to probably build another population on this energy here. And we're probably going to try and get another power station going as well. I think that's probably going to make the best impact. Ah, he's leveled up. Oh, what one of them has leveled up. The governor. The governor has leveled up. Oh, okay, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for that. Having probed the frozen landscapes of the planet Ishta 5, we think we have struck something big. Science offer, uh, Officer Autonomous Drone 42 <laughs> speaks of a bacterial, a bacterial life form unlike any other. It bonds with other individuals to form large blankets that are durable yet light and also act like solar cells. They absorb solar energy with a surprisingly low efficiency loss percentage, most likely a result of evolution favoring those who could gather more heat in the harsh climate. Our researchers back home could surely find some use of this information. Try and find a military use or find out if it can improve energy production. Well, I think energy production is certainly something we want right now. So let's do that. There we go, and one of our scientists has gained a level. Okay, our energy development researchers have made progress with the samples we sent them from Ish to 5. They have been able to develop a new type of solar cell using the, mechan uh, using the organisms as a template. These are much more efficient at storing energy and will provide a boost to all our power plants. 5% increased energy credits. That's actually pretty nice, although it only improved it by 1%. That eventually is going to make a huge difference because we'll have our many more power plants, of course. All right, there you go. So there's the population. That was that took a long time, didn't it? Yes, it certainly did. Okay, so I'm gonna build a. Mm, 
we're going to build a power plant here, and I need to build another population as well, so obviously that's going to be pretty expensive. We have found an anomaly. Uh, we've, oh, yeah, failure risk only 5%. Let's do it. There we go. Let's clear those ruins out as well. These can be upgraded, so we could technically do that as well. We have surveyed the system. Let's do that. Okay, so one of our science ships is now ready to move over here and hopefully serve... Yes, research the project in the system. That sounds good to me. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to be ending this episode off here. Do let me know if you want to see more. I'm having a lot of fun. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.